really sad. Some people, like the cognitive dissonance, they can't accept what's going on. It's an industrial area. Imagine having a life so sad, one spends so much time to drive to an area to try to create a conspiracy video. Huh? How's that a conspiracy? Are you that thick? Really? Are you going to label it that because you can't accept it? Only for the whole thing to unravel from a Google map check. Anti-jabs want freedoms, but spend all their life, spare time trapped in their head. Get off the drugs, man. What the hell are you going on about? Really? Are you that freaking stupid? 7th of August, 2021. Updated. 7th of August, 2021. Damascus Barracks. Separate staffing teams, negative air flows and rooms, CCTV to monitor any potential escapees are all part of the plan for Queensland's purpose-built quarantine facility on defence land at Pingabar in Brisbane. The staff would be split and physically distanced from other teams to care for up to 1,500 returning Australians and lower the risk of outbreak spreading to the facility. It is all detailed in a feasibility study design basis by consultancy group ACOM. Obtained by the ABC and comes a week after the federal government announced the study had found the location suitable. While ACOM report a CERT Pinkabar facility could be up and running for the first 500 travels by March 31st, some challenges propose a significant risk to this time frame, including modifying accommodation to migrate aircraft noise. The 50 plus page brief details extensive initial plans for how the facility could work. From type accommodation and vision to ventilation and where the staff would live on site. It builds on the design principles of Victoria's proposed facility, which is designed to begin construction next month. So there is those sheds that I took photos of, yeah. How the facility, was, facility would be designed and operated. According to the documents, the Big Bar facility could house up to 1,500 travellers with guests split into two separate 250 quarantine blocks, each manned by its own team of staff who could include cleaners, nurses, residents, support officers. Staff could generally travel daily to the site and exclusively look after one block of residents to make contact tracing easier and limit any potential outbreaks. The report suggests that there could be an area for guests who are positive or a close contact to a confirmed case, while patients need specific treatment, will be taken to a health facility. Other details include specific stations for staff to put on and remove personal PPE before entering a zone where guests are quarantining the report states. It also recommends authorities consider the use of CCTV analysis software to provide dis discrete detection of potential escapees or intruders. The Federal Department of Finance spokesman said the Queensland Government will be responsible for the Centre's operational requirements and curing security, with ventilation systems playing a key role in infection con prevention and control. The report proposes there will be 100% outside air supply and exhaust systems with negative airflow to rooms. The report proposes construction starting in early December, with the first 500 place places commissioned by the 31st of March. And the construction's already started. I showed all the machinery. I showed the demountables. Next year, followed by the second 500 places by the May 6th and the final 500 places by June 30. And you're saying they can't build it that quick? Uh, so in one month they can build 500 beds? You don't think they haven't already started? This not, does not take into account other potential factors like local construction, market constraints, civil works, possible intact of the Victoria facility on supply chain and environmental contamination of the site and remediation. Yeah, it's a uh, PFAS contamination site. And it's not a conspiracy. It is actually on the federal government's website. It will remain Australia's front line. Prime Minister Scott Morrison pitched the idea for Pink and Bar site to the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk in June as she continued to push for regional quarantine near Toowoomba. The federal government argued it failed the criteria. Palaszczuk reportedly stated the hotels were not designed for to be quarantine facilities. Following countless breach from the nation's hotel systems, the quarantine Queensland government led the way on calling on the federal government to urgently deliver more fit-for-purpose quarantine facilities, particularly in regional areas throughout Queensland, a state government spokesman said. Until all Australians have been offered a Quarantine facilities will remain Australia's front line in preventing the new strains from entering our community. The ACOM report declares Pinkabar site to be a suitable option to be able to, to meet the technical minimum requirements of such a facility and worthy of 
further detailed investigation. Building designs needs to make migrate noise. One issue is noise, particularly from the flights taking off and landing at Brisbane Airport, with monitors registering some at 89 decibels or more. Whilst there are engineering solutions to address the ANFE levels associated with the internal component of the residential air areas, impacts can be anticipated in the external portions of the site, such as accommodation balconies, the report finds. And the Damascus Army Barrack sites are contaminated by PFAS. It's not could, it is. It's the EPA, it was supposed to be cleaned up. Modifications will need to be made to the lightweight modular construction purpose for the accommodation builds to help migrate noise and design. Solutions will be tested with suppliers. The lightweight modular construction is those demandable buildings I showed you. Also points out several for contamination and chemical compound PFAS and that detailed studies will have, be, have to be carried out. PFAS was a toxic chemical used in fire fighting phones on Australian fence bases and airports and has contaminated groundwater of sites across the country. Chemicals do not break down and accumulate in soil, waters and human bodies have been shown to cause disease, whilst environmental studies have identified some local use of PFAS contamination products in specific locations. Yeah, it's a load of shit because I've seen those reports. The next phase of the project involves detailed investigations, including sampling of noise, air quality, contaminants in soil, surface water and groundwater. Get on with it. The Finance Department spokesman said the completion in early 2022 will depend on a range of factors, including timing and agreement from Queensland Government for the facility to proceed. Australian and Queensland Government officials are working towards the establishment of a memorandum of understanding. The draft MOU has been provided to Queensland to consider. It is proposed that costs will be shared between the state and federal governments, with the Commonwealth paying for the facility's construction and the Queensland Government carrying operating costs. No indication of construction or ongoing maintenance costs has yet uh, being provided to the Queensland Government yet. Asked about the proposal Friday, State Opposition Leader David Christopher urged both uh, levels of government to get on with it. Get cracking as quickly as you can because it's important to have a multitude of options to quarantine people safely. State Government spokesman said they would continue to work collaboratively with the Commonwealth to further the proposal. Okay, so how is someone filming the site to show people a conspiracy theory. How is it? Stop reflecting and bullying. So, Pete, uh, a conspiracy theory is an alternative explanation of an event or a situation that dis differs from the narrative of mainstream media, history, books, and other means. Uh, some conspiracies are batshit crazy and have little or no evidence, others are just crazy and uncontroversial. So some, but have very validity and evidence to be recognised as true. There are examples of conspiracy that have been proven to be as true, but were seen as impossible or improbable in the past. The word is often used as an ad homin to the theory and its arguments to try and discredit the person expressing it. I can't trust the politicians and the media. I mean, they have a track record of lies and bullshit. There's nothing but 24-7 news and propaganda cycle to enslave your mind and making you believe that you are free. This is my theory about all of these TV programs and channels, so that's how you would use it, okay? So how does something that the government's said itself? So I ask again, how can it be a, a conspiracy theory when it's here on the Queensland government and it's on the federal government website? It just seems that uh, you can't accept the truth. You don't want to accept the truth. <laughs> If this is just the truth that's being shared and, and you're uh, lashing out. Conspiracy now and a secret plan by a group to do something unlawful or ha harmful. How is quarantining a, a conspiracy? That's you thinking that, that's not me. So since you didn't read it, Pete, and you're too immature. Biosecurity uh, Bill 2021 enactment. It's in relation to the broadening scope of the current Biosecurity Act, including biosecurity enforcement orders upon classes of individuals, specifically requiring them to wear specified clothing or equipment to be relocated and detained 
for indefinite term and to provide body samples to the World Health Organization. While we understand that these changes are meant to be imposed upon groups arriving into the country by plane or by vessel, it does not expressively exclude the possibility of it being applied to other classes of people such as the unvaccinated or certain ethnic, religious or political social groups residing within Australia. Closing date, 27th of October. It's gone through. It's already gone through. So how does us sharing a video of the future site relate to a conspiracy? And uh, how did you um, go back to where you said... It is an industrial ad area. Imagine having a life so sad one spends so much time to drive to an area. Well, we actually went to the beach <laughs> on my YouTube channel, uh, the videos after it. <laughs> you can see we went to the beach and had fish and chips and we went, took the dog swimming and my boy went swimming. So, uh, to try and create a video only for the whole thing to be unraveled from Google Map Check. Anti-jabs want freedoms but spend all their time trapped in their head. So, um, tell me, how did your Google check debunk me, hey? Tell me, how did your check debunk this? Come on, how did it debunk it? I mean, the airport's right here. I'm not the one that mentioned the trees and all that. That was the other person. You're the buffoon. Hey? So that's 30 hectares. Come on, tell me, how did you debunk it? Tell me. Since I'm so dumb, tell me. Come on. I'm waiting for an answer, Pete. 